our, our manufacturing facilities up in central Queensland. We manufacture emulsion at about a thousand kilograms a minute, okay. um, and uh, so we will close pretty quickly in the explosives field. So what we'd like to do is uh, we're working on trying to do an inline density. Okay. It's a very doable application, just so the pipe has no air in it. Has, it has designed to have no air in it because right. what actually with explosives do you do put air in it and you change its density and therefore you increase its sensitivity. It's externally mounted, so you don't need to break into the line at all. Okay. See, the pipe would go right into it. Obviously, it's going to south. Yeah, of course. Then you have the source on one side, the detector on the other side, to shoot straight through the pipe. It's pretty simple. And can you yeah. put it through? How do you, uh, you read it? You put it through a. Uh, it goes through a transmitter like that. Yeah. And it'll give you your density measurement. Oh, no. So solids, either four to twenty apart or perky bus or field bus. No perky bus. I'm sorry, field bus. Usually, you'll use four to twenty more than likely. Output. What's the device like this work? Ah, for how, how big a pipe is it? Four inch. Four inch. Kind of you know, Australian dollars. You're probably looking at. Eleven or twelve thousand. You got my stuff. You got my card. So def yeah. definitely, yeah. Just yeah. Tight yeah. Yeah. Def yeah. definitely get something to us. Okay. Uh, power. What source? Yeah. Yeah. Very small. Very yeah, in Australia, we have to use a different type of source holder than this one. So it's a little bit longer because of the Australian regulations, but we, we have a source holder to try this. What if we've got a vertical pipe? Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's, we want that's a vertical pipe. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 As far as power goes, I think that's what you're asking. You would power the microprocessor with 110 to 220, or we can do DC power as well. Then the microprocessor actually powers the detector. I'm just trying to think what if we run our uh, PLCs on. I think they're running on 24, 24 volt volts. Probably. Yeah, 24 DC, so. Yeah. We can do either. Yeah. It doesn't affect the cost or anything, just a different car, so yeah. no problem. Yeah. And which is the one that you. Let's see, go, that's, go back. That's, yeah, see, we look yeah. It would probably look more like this. Excellent. Availability? Uh, four weeks. We buy it in Australia, it's made in America. We can buy it as a free trade agreement between yes. Australia and America. Yes. We buy it here, we've got a business here too. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah and, we, we, and we also make a motion here too. Oh, you do? Well, our rep, we have a rep that covers Australia for us. He's in uh, Melbourne and also in Sydney.